All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the daily update my 1000 day challenge. This day 218, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, you'll notice the balance is actually down a little bit from yesterday. That's actually due to an update in terms of what I mentioned yesterday on the experimental trade setup for both LINK and Ethereum. I took the stop loss for that, and that is ex uh, reflected over here. Whereas in the main training account, there was actually a little bit of a so-called profit taking take place, but that was mean on a systematic approach. And he actually hit the trading stop loss, so it was a little bit of a profit, but not so significant in that sense. So yeah. Otherwise, in terms of the market structure update for this week, the market structure remains relatively the same on the weekly chart basis, except for S&P 500, which actually transited from a neutral back to a bullish market structure once again. But overall, potentially, there still could be further downside in the coming weeks if you're looking in terms of purely the price action, especially in terms of the individual candlestick itself. Say on the weekly chart, if you switch over to that, you will see that, yeah, it was a very nice support, somewhat of a supportive candlestick. Let me just, yeah. So you can see over here, it was somewhat like an indecision kind of a doji candlestick because we literally opened and closed almost exactly the same spot itself, which is at 3,800. So yeah, that's something to take note. And potentially we could, we could be considered that we have already found some support at this 20 exponential moving average on the weekly chart as well. So yeah. Otherwise, in terms of the other market-wise, it looks a little bit weaker. Over here, we've actually break below on the Nasdaq. We actually broke below. And the closing-wise, which actually closed at 12,668, was actually slightly above the 20 exponential moving average. So yeah, there's something to bear in mind. But otherwise, overall, we still look a little bit bearish and potentially there could be further downside first before we continue towards the upside. Or there could be further consolidation within this period for maybe a couple of months or even the year itself before we actually continue towards the upside or the downside, if any, to say. All right, but personally, I'm leaning towards the upside in terms of the by the year end. So potentially, there could be small retracement, further retracement or consolidation, in which case, if it does break higher high, then I'll be more interested to add. So for ASHR, KWEB, similarly, same thing. I do see some bearish momentum, some kind of support on the 20 exponential moving average, which has been clearly shown as support as well for KWEB. So one time over here, second time over here. All right, and finally for Bitcoin itself. So in terms of the four traditional financial market, I'm not looking to add any position because I really is sufficient position wise. Otherwise, it'll be a good position, a good time to add in terms of a small position wise. Yeah, and finally for Bitcoin itself, on the potential weekly chart, even though you haven't closed, potentially even though we do have a bearish and engulfing candlestick, the selling momentum is much weaker than I thought. And also like what I say, I'm not bearish until it closed. The price go below the low of last week, which is actually 43,021. So as long as it stays above 43,000, I'm still leaning towards that. We could consolidate above here. And for maybe a couple of weeks, or maybe even until end of March, even April, before we actually proceed to higher, continue towards the upside, or we could actually break towards the downside, because this will give it sufficient time for this 20 exponential average to catch up, which will actually be a good thing as long as price can maintain above it by then. All right. And on the daily chart itself, it's a little bit supportive in a sense, because you can see that the price actually managed to close right above the 20 exponential moving average for one day, two day, three days, four days, and inclusive of the, this day itself, there's five days actually maintained. So the whole of this week actually maintained above 20 exponential moving average, which means that people are actually more eager in terms of buying it itself. So buying pressure remains there as well. So of course we could have some sort of short-term selling pressure momentum, but in which case I do see that there could be a lot of buyers stepping in as well. So on the four hour chart, I did mention yesterday that this was a potential setup, and I'll actually remove this. I didn't enter here for a very simple reason. You can look over here. There wasn't a very nice bullish market structure transition just yet on the forward chart. So I'll remove that. So what I'm waiting over here is there's a low here. Potentially, if there's a low form over here, which will be a higher low, then I want this high to be break over, break, uh, to break out above this high, in which case the buy stop order will be somewhere along here. Then my stop loss will be right below these 200 simple moving average on the four hourly chart, which I mentioned over here. Wait for a clean break above 150 simple moving average. Potential long setup, we stop loss right over here. So yep, this will be a potential setup. But do bear in mind that because I'm waiting for a break above, if it does break too strongly above, right, I may not be able to enter. So over here, 
uh, I will have to put a buy stop order in that sense. So let's see how price goes. But of course, if for right now, if it's a little bit too cautious wise, I will actually wait for close above it, in which case it could be buying a much higher high. And then I'll move my stop loss to higher in that sense to right around here. So target wise also have to be shifted up a little bit to around 55,000 that's the case. So there could be potentially another setup that I'll be going for depending on the situation. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.